This video tutorial from ExoCAD will show you how to design a digital implant model using the Model Creator module. We will use one of our demo samples called Model Creator with Artificial Gingiva Mask. In this sample, we have selected Implant Base on Custom Abutment. Now click on the Model Creator icon to start the CAD application. Note, in this sample, a scene file from Designed Abutments is available. However, we will start with the scan data only to show you how to detect implant position in Model Creator. The wizard will start with the Model Alignment window. The Model Type selection allows you to select from specific presets to get your desired result without having to manually adjust individual settings. These presets control both the type of model and the parameters specific to a particular printer model. Note, different types of digital models and different presets will be shown in a separate video. For this sample case, we choose 3D Systems Nextent 5100 Plateless Model. The upper and lower boundaries are visualized. Note, the scan data will automatically be aligned. You can freely move the models in every direction or in a specific direction. XY plane or along the occlusal axis. To move, left click on the models to drag and drop. To rotate, hold down the control button. Note, if you use a model with base plate, you can also rotate the scan data around the occlusal axis to align the scan to the base plate. Height of the upper arch model or the lower arch model can be adjusted. Proceed to next. In this step, we will detect implant position for the tooth displayed in the wizard. To create implant models, you need the correct CAD library with the scan body used during scanning and an exactly matching model analog library, which contains the shape of the implant analog that will be placed in the model. Your reseller provide the software to you pre-configured with a working implant library setup. You can access our library download portal by clicking on Download More Libraries from the drop down menu. This link will take you to the ExoCAD Dental CAD Library integration webpage where you can find all partners and their available libraries with instructions on how to install. Note if you wish to customize your implant library, you need two matching implant libraries the Dental CAD Library, which contains the scan abutment shapes and a matching compatible model creator library. You can select from the full library or from the libraries you have marked with the star as favorites. To create models with implant analogs, we need to detect the exact implant positions from the scan data on the specific given tooth in the wizard. To register the correct position, click the marked point on the scan. Click on Best Fit Matching to perform an automatic heuristic matching. Hold Control when clicking this button to view the result of the alignment in color scale showing the deviation of the matching result. Note, for performing Best Fit Matching, the matching objects should have some overlapping regions. Repeat the Detect Implant Position for each scan body. Use Control and little mouse button to hide the 3D object to make it easier to mark the point. For more hotkeys, please visit our ExoCAD wiki. Proceed to Next. Prior to model creation, 3D Data Editor is used to fix problems in the mesh and to trim the unwanted areas. 3D Data Editor is shown in our Quick Guide Model Creator video tutorial. Proceed to Next. In this step, we can define the Emergence Profiles border. We will use the Correct and Draw tab. This process is very similar to defining the margin of a prep. Add points by mouse left click. Double click to complete the line. Drag and drop individual control points to move. You can also move the entire line up or down with a specified distance. 
the preconditioned gingiva checkbox means that the gingiva has an ideal shape to copy for the gingival mask. Repeat the define emergence profile for each implant. In the unlikely case that you would like to replicate the gingiva in the rigid model material, skip the emergence profile detection altogether by switching to the detect tab and just clicking next. or switch to the detect mode for the automatic detection of the emergence profile margin line. Four points must be set by clicking their positions. You can easily correct the detected margin line in the Correct and Draw tab. For more information on how to define emergence profile, please refer to our custom abutment design video tutorial. Click Next to continue. Since we have the possibility to shape the emergence profile in Dental CAD software based on the designed abutments, we will switch to another video. This time we will choose Load Scan of the Design to show you the difference in the workflow. In Toggle Tooth Dyes, you can select additional teeth which you wish to be detachable in the model. Adding additional detachable teeth is shown in our Quick Guide Model Creator video. Click Next to proceed. Note, if some lab analogs are positioned too close to the model boundaries, the software will ask you to realign the model. You can do so by moving the model or adjusting the height and permitting enough space for the lab analogs. In the Plateless Model Design step, you can switch between Preconditioned, Unconditioned, or Abutment Die by clicking on the respective tooth on the Implant tab. Note, in this tutorial, we are using pop-up training videos to show you different options. Preconditioned gingiva means that the scan already contains the outcome of the gingiva shape, for example, by a healing abutment. Since the model material, unlike the patient's gingiva, is rigid and won't compress, if you choose to replicate this exact shape in the model, the custom abutment you have designed may not fit. Therefore, the software will cut out the area below the emergence profile entirely to allow ease of insertion of the abutment. Unconditioned gingiva means that the gingiva of the patient is not yet conditioned, and the designed custom abutment will shape the gingiva. Therefore, in this mode, Model Creator will apply the shape of the abutment to the model, thus giving you the anticipated gingival shape based on your design abutment. And an abutment die is when we build a model with an abutment as a die. Also, you have the ability to generate separate gingival masks. If you have a preconditioned gingiva and you would like to replicate the shape exactly in the model, then it should be produced as a separate gingival mask made of flexible material. For this purpose, use the Mask tab. Click on the Masks tab and add in the Plateless Model Design step to add a removable gingiva. Add points by left click. Finish the gingiva mask by double click. Drag and drop individual control points to move. The software automatically detects which implants have been surrounded. To add another gingival mask, click again on the Add button and repeat the process. Click the Remove button to remove a gingiva. There are also different parameters to control the shape. For example, you can add nubs for better attention. For more information on the settings, please refer to our ExoCAD wiki by clicking on the Help button, represented by the question mark symbol. Note, it is recommended to use the default preset provided by your system integrator, the manufacturing equipment, or the production center to get the optimal results. Click Run after changing any parameter in order to recalculate the model.
Let's compare the preconditioned and unconditioned gingival mask in the sectional view. Repeat the steps for the opposite arch. Note, if your opposite arch doesn't include detachable dies, you can change the settings for the solid model and run the calculation to generate the model, or click on Next to proceed to the next step. In the next step, you are able to add model attachments for articulation or support. Adding attachments to your models is shown in our Quick Guide Model Creator video. Proceed to Next. Once you are done, with the correct ExoPrint setup, models are loaded automatically in the 3D printer software. Note, in this video, we show the integration with a Nextent 3D Sprint printer, but our software supports smooth integration with printers from various manufacturers. You can open the printer transfer window and select the parts you wish to print. Please contact your reseller for ExoPrint setup and see our website for a list of supported printers. You have a possibility to create implant models with specific pre manufactured base plates, such as Bauman, Red Dental, or others. The plates will be visualized, and you can align the model by moving or rotating. Areas marked in red will be removed. When using the model with plate, the next step is model segmentation. The software automatically generates a gingival mask for an individual segment in which the respective implant is located. In the planes tab, there is an image of the model and that shows the segmentation or cutting planes. These planes can be toggled on and off by clicking on the grey or green dots. The red dots cannot be changed. They represent a cut between gingiva mask or implant preconditioned gingiva and healthy or adjacent teeth. You can toggle between gingiva mask and implant with preconditioned gingiva by clicking on the gingiva mask segmentation. Hold down Shift and click mouse left button to toggle between preconditioned and unconditioned gingiva. For more information on the settings for Model with Plate, please refer to our ExoCAD wiki page on model segmentation. You can move the plane horizontally by left click on the yellow control point and drag to the correct position. To rotate the plane, left click on the green control point on the labial, buccal or the lingual side. To angle the plane, hold down Ctrl and Shift, and then left click on the colored plane surface. Note, red indicates error of placement. You can move the gingiva flat bottom vertically by moving the yellow plane. Click Run after changing the position of any planes or a parameter in order to recalculate the model. Thank you for watching this video.